In this video, we're going to show the process of doing a backup to an RDX storage device. So when I first open Retrospect, I go to the left side and I choose Backup. Retrospect will allow me to do a backup using a wizard mode or advanced mode. For today's demonstration, we're going to use the advanced mode. We go to Sources and then we decide what do we want to back up. I can select My Computer and back up all of the disks that are part of my computer. I can choose the C drive and back up the entire C drive, or I can pick specific folders. To pick a specific folder, I would just go to the C drive, go to Subvolume, locate a folder that I want to make as my source, click Define, and then add it as a folder to be used as a source for backup. In this particular example, I've already got a folder that I've selected. I'm going to highlight it and click OK. And then I'm going to go to Destination, and I need to create a backup set for my RDX backup set. So I click Create New, I click Next, and then I can choose either Disk or Removable Disk. The recommended method is going to be to select Disk and click Next, and then I can give it a name like My RDX Backup. I go to Select, I open up My Computer, I pick my E drive, which is my RDX storage device. I click OK and then I click on Next. I can decide whether I want to encrypt the data or not encrypt the data. I go to Next. I save my catalog file and select Finish. Now that I've created my RDX backup set, I highlight it and click OK and then I just choose Backup. Retrospect will scan my source and then begin copying the data to the RDX disk. After it's done copying, Retrospect will then go back and do a verification to make sure the files were copied correctly. If I'm doing a backup and my data does not fit on the disk, then Retrospect will automatically ask me to select an additional disk to continue with that particular backup.